Now all on my lane, hey, you ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way hey, yeah. I gave you the book, what, what? I gave you the game The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. the boy got a flame, yeah Serving in the kitchen like a Nino Plenty bitchin' whipping different flavors like a bistro Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C-No Switch and keep it pimping every single place that he go I got it Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame Boy, you know the name, get up out the way Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to my channel. Now, today, I got the most amazing seared duck breast. And we only use one ingredient on this duck breast, and it's salt. So, how simple is that? So, first off, if you got a whole duck breast like I do, you want to cut it in half. So, I got this duck breast down in Atlanta at the um, DeKalb County Farmer's Market. And how they serve you your duck breast, um, they give you both breasts um, connected. So they don't do not cut them in half. So all you gotta do is cut that thing in half. And um, me, I usually try to get some of the silver skin that's left over off the duck breast and um, trim up some of the fat around the edges. I'm um, just trying to make it uniform. I don't trim all of it up because I want to render a lot of it down because I want to save that duck fat and use it for like duck fat potatoes, um, other recipes, which I will be showing you on this channel because we got plenty of duck fat um, maybe some confis here in the future but once you get all that trimmed up you want to go ahead and score the duck now some people like to make small scores I kind of like to make medium sized scores um, and the reason being when I'm cooking the duck I can kind of see behind the scores and see how much fat I still need to render and second of all we're going to go ahead and flip those duck breasts over and go on with our salt. Like I said, it's one ingredient duck and salt is the only ingredient. So we're gonna put some salt down and I was gonna keep the tenders on there, but then I thought about it. I didn't wanna overcook them. So I went ahead and removed the tenders and you can just serve them in a pan with the duck or use it for another recipe. It's completely up to you, but I went ahead and removed the tenderloins and just seasons the duck. What I'm not gonna do is season the skin side because I don't want to draw any more moisture out especially since I'm going in the pan um, moisture will ruin um, that crispy skin or give us a longer time to make crispy skin if we season the fat side so I'm gonna just pat it dry and we're gonna go into a completely cold pan like I didn't cut this um, pan on until I place the first duck breast down so that's how cold I'm, I'm talking about and I'm using the cast iron um, you can use Teflon pan whatever you want to use but I feel like cast iron is the best because it distributes heat well and it also holds heat well and the deal is with this since we're rendering the fat out it's almost like cooking bacon you want to keep rendering but kind of control that heat so I started off with like a medium heat and then I ended up at the end with like a medium low heat. So you just want to keep continue controlling the heat uh, up and down, up and down until you figure out the right temperature um, to cook your duck breast at. And you see it's just still rendering. Um, it's so much fat on the skin side. So you're going to be, you're going to cook this duck at least 90% of the way on the skin side. And sometimes I like to take a little peek under there. I think I'm going to take a little peek for you guys just to see how long we got to go. And that's how I usually judge. Um, my family don't like medium or medium red duck. So I kind of cook this in the medium plus. Um, but in a perfect world, I would cook the medium red. And you see those white marks under the fat? Like you see the, the fat is searing, but you still see those white lines. That's like raw fat that's haven't been rendered so like i said you're going to be rendering this fat for a while so if you feel like the skin is turning brown quicker just turn the heat down just a little bit and always always turn over and check your fat and make sure it's rendering good and then i'm gonna go ahead and just base the top like i said we're going to cook it 90 percent of the way on the fat side um so we want to give it a head start um, when we flip it, so I always like to take that hot duck fat and just baste 
based and we also just um giving it tons of flavor uh when we base them as well so yeah you just want to base but like i said you're still going on the fat side all right you can kind of still see some of the white peeking out there and that's what i'm showing you so you know you still got a little ways to go you see that white just poking out the, it looks beautiful but you can still see some of the some of the raw fat just peeking out you want to just continue to go because it ain't nothing more gross than eating duck that haven't been fully rendered i'm telling you so we get to this point we're going to go ahead and flip it and once we flip it oh my goodness look at that skin but well, we're still going to go back on the skin side just to because it's not as crispy as i want it right now so i'm going to go ahead and flip it and then we're going to hit it with a little base again there we go and we're just getting inside those nooks and crannies you know still rendering some of that fat like i said that fat cap is very thick so you want to just take your time with this duck um also try not to overcook it like i said i'm going medium plus um, because of my family, but in the perfect world or in the restaurant, I probably have been going medium rare. So you want to start with low temps and keep it low and just render. So you always want to just feel your duck. And I'm going to flip it over, like I said, to go back on the uh, fat side because we want to get that crispy. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it into a four, no, a 375 degree oven. There we go. 375 degree oven. And I popped it in there for about three minutes you know just to cook it um some more and there we go oh my goodness now it's perfect like this duck breast is so crispy like the skin is so crispy it's almost remind you like a pork rind that's how crispy we got it and we was able to get it i could have did it fully over the on top of the stove but um in the oven it kind of gave me a safe zone and that's what i want to show you guys that cool technique just give you a little safe zone where you don't burn it but it's still rendering. So we're gonna pop it on the cutting board and we're gonna let it rest. You wanna let it rest for at least 10 minutes. And I'm just feeling, look how crispy that is. Oh my goodness. But while we letting it rest, I'm gonna give you the slideshow again, just for so you can see all the nooks and crannies. I really love like just, just playing with the angles so you guys can see every bit of the duck breast so there we go still going and you can see some of that fat still oozing out and that means the juices is the sh check out this angle so I tried to go on the sides and then up above hope you guys seeing all the angles I'm trying to create here but it's an amazing duck breast. So like I said, one ingredient, one ingredient, simple ingredient duck breast, which is salt. And you can put pepper on there, but a lot of times I try not to use pepper when I'm not looking for spice. Um, I don't feel like salt and pepper belongs together on everything. Um, the salt enhances the flavor and pepper alters the flavor. And I just want, uh, just a plain duck breast, a seasoned duck breast, and salt was the perfect seasoning for me. So, like I said, you can use pepper if you like, but for me, I just want to use plain salt. Salt seasons the meat, but pepper will alter the flavor. And you'll get duck breast, but you'll get kind of like some spice with it, which I didn't want. So, see me go ahead and cut it. And like I said, this one here was medium plus going into kind of medium well you don't want to cook it no further than medium well but there you have it man thank you guys for checking out this video like comment share subscribe i'm out